Time to time, I see people commenting on my YouTube videos about how I could help them improve their wheelies. Sometimes people have trouble getting the wheel up. Sometimes people have trouble finding that balance point. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my techniques that could help you guys improve your wheelies. So one of the first keys to mastering wheelies is always, always, you wanna make sure you're comfortable on the bike you're using. My bike selection of choice that we're gonna be using today is my 2024 SE Bikes City Grounds Big Ripper with a custom ride out supply sticker kit on there, as well as an aftermarket free wheel from ride out supply. So this one is a little bit louder, all right? Now, one of the main things I always tell people when they're learning how to wheelie is, you wanna make sure you're comfortable on your bike. So me, I got my seat adjusted to my height because I am tall, I mean, I'm a six foot four rider and these bikes are a little bit smaller for me if the seat is too lower. So I have my seat ab about the same height as the stem so that when I sit on there, I sit comfortably on the bike. If I pull back, like if I'm doing a wheelie, I can still comfortably stand up in a wheelie. You wanna be able to make sure you can comfortably do this. Moving on, check over your brakes. You wanna make sure you have full brake control. You don't wanna hit your brakes and there's barely any brakes. You wanna make sure you have full control of your brakes. And if you feel like you don't trust your brakes, depending on what brake system you have, these are mechanical V brakes. So I'm gonna go over here to my lever, untwist this knob out a little bit, just so it can give me some tension on the brakes. So I can be able to have some stopping power. You wanna be able to have stopping power. One of the main things with doing a wheelie is brake control. Brake control and balance point, really. So now we're gonna ride around downtown West Palm Beach and I'm gonna be showing you guys some techniques that could help you guys out. The main key when doing a wheelie is you wanna be able to know how to pop it up. So my method is, let's pass these people real quick. So my method is gonna be the one, two, three method. So I, used, I like to get a few pedals in before I literally pull my weight all the way back, keeping my arms straight and pull my weight all the way back so I can get that wheel in the air. So. We're gonna do one, two, three. That's how I do it, all right? I literally get a few pedals in and pull up my weight all the way back. Remember, it's, it's all in the body weight when you're pulling that wheel up. What you wanna do is literally kick your body out and pedal. That's how you get that wheel up. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if you guys are wondering, when I get it in the air, how am I able to stay in the wheelie? As soon as I get the wheel up, I'm able to hit the brake. So when you're doing a wheelie, you're trying to find the balance point. Literally, me hitting my brake one time, once I pop that wheel up, helps me find my balance point easily. So literally, I do a wheelie, and I hit the brake. And I'm still tapping the brake. Again, as soon as I do a wheelie, have to break. It's brake control. Literally. One, two, three, hit the brake, and then in the balance point. Now, where people mess up at when they try to do a wheelie is they go too slow. If you haven't mastered wheelies, going too slow and trying to pop up the wheel takes a lot more power. So you want to try to find your speed. Get that speed going, get, got you. So you wanna get a little bit of speed and then pop it up, hit the brake, hit the brake. Get a little bit of speed, one, two, three, pop it up, hit the brake. Always remember, hit the brake, body weight back, arms straight, and you just pedal. Hit the brake and pedal. Once you find that balance point, you pedal, hit the brake. A helpful tip when doing wheelies, instead of looking at that front wheel, once you pick it up, people want a wheelie and they look at the front wheel and then they're worried about how high it is. Then they start warming. You wheeling, pick up the front wheel, look straight where you're going. Pay attention to where you're going. Just pay attention to where you're going. So I'm looking straight ahead. I'm not worrying about how high that wheel is in the air. And doing that, I'm just focused on where I'm going. I'm just pedaling. We're about to go down a bridge right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to coast a wheelie. Now with coasting a wheelie, we're going back to finding that balance point. 
coaster wheelies are super fun in my opinion because you're literally just sitting in a wheelie and it's all brake control. It's all literally feathering the brake. So we're gonna hit this little downhill bridge and I'm gonna show you guys how to pretty much coast the wheelie. So again, same method, get a little bit of speed. One, two, three, pick up, hit the brake. Now, I just coast, feather the brake a little bit, feather the brake. I'm literally just pulling my body weight all the way back and it's just all brake control. If the wheel is about to drop, I pedal a little bit, drop it back, hit the brake. Drop it back, hit the brake, feather it. And now we're down at the hill and I lost that momentum. <laughs> Pulling my weight back literally helps me in my coaster wheelies. Helps me get that flow, get that speed. And you just feather the brake. It's kind of like the brakes are rubbing on the rim, but at your control. So when you're feathering it, you're kind of helping the wheel stay in that balance point. Now we're gonna get some more coasting clips for you guys. We're gonna go to the one, two, three method. Once you pull that front wheel up, you tap the brake once to make to get yourself in that balance point and then you're gonna pedal and then get that speed. So one, two, three, hit the brake. Then literally, pull your body weight back. Arms are straight, literally. My arms are literally straight. Do it again for you guys. Keep going. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, pop up, hit the brake once, pedal, and then just coast it. My body weight's all the way back. Let me show you guys my half click wheelies. For this one, we're gonna go slow. Then you pop it up once, hit the brake, and then half click. Half pedals, literally. Half pedals, hit the brake half pedaling now if you guys have trouble with your willies and you're trying to keep the bike going straight and you're like all over the place about to hit a car and you're like stiff you're like oh you don't want to do that all right i'm going to show you a technique that's going to help you guys control your willies and keep that wheel straight your knees is going to play a big role in keeping that bike going straight so i'm wheeling right and I'm trying to keep the wheel straight. I'm kind of like pulling my right, my right leg to the right, my left leg to the left. So if you guys see the movement, if I want to hit a turn, I'm going to kick my left leg out. Boom, boom. A lot of people want to learn how to wiggle, wiggle, swerve in their wheelies. That's all hip movement, knee movement, and still keeping that body weight pulled back. So now I'm gonna show you guys me catching some speed, and I'm gonna hit this little turn, and you guys are gonna be able to see how I was able to hit that turn without worming out. Let's go. Catch some speed. Catch some speed. The boom. I'm moving my hips. Moving my hips, moving my knees. Learning how to control my bike. Sometimes you might have to stand up a little bit to keep that wheel up. But remember, hit the brakes so you can keep yourself in that balance point. Hip movement helps out a lot. Pulling that weight back helps out a lot. Learning to stay in that balance point helps out a lot as well. If I wanna go left to right. right. Move my hips. I'm moving my hips, moving my knees. Moving my knees, moving my hips. So again, moving my hips. Sometimes you might have to bend your arms too to get that that swerve you want. So I'm kind of like curling my arms just a little bit, keeping one arm straight, bending one. Moving my hips, moving my knees, and just, that's pretty much how you get that wiggle going. Once you learn to wiggle, you can cut up. Yeah. Feel me? You can cut up. When you're doing these wheelies, guys, 
you want to make sure you just find what's really comfortable for you when it's time to pop that wheel up and keep that wheel up. You want to make sure you're comfortable. It's all about comfortability. I already know these bikes like the back of my hand. I know what it takes to get it to swerve. You kind of want to learn your bike a little bit first before you try to practice these techniques, all right? Gotta catch a vibe sometimes, so. Just wanted to come over here and ride to the beach, see the views real quick. Now this next part I'm gonna show you guys is pretty much how to swerve left to right, side to side, how to hit turns, and pretty much what it takes to be able to do those kind of things. So it's all brake control and balance point when swerving, but also making sure your body weight is in the right position so that when you swerve or turn, you're still able to keep that wheel up with that momentum. Oh, picking up one wheelie now. Now I'm gonna cut to the right, but not too fast. So I'm gonna, what I just did there is I angled the bike and I moved my hip, move my hip. Swerve this little stop sign. Whew. Swerving oncoming cars will get you hurt, guys. Please don't swerve oncoming cars. If you're gonna swerve a parked car, swerve it at your risk because you are responsible for the damages if you hurt a, a parked car, you feel me? Me personally, I don't like doing either or because I don't feel like breaking anything or breaking someone else's property. So I'm just swerving objects or, you know, whatever's in the road that I could swerve. Plus we're on a very wealthy island that if I mess up, I could get a ticket, get put in cuffs or whatever the case may be. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep it cool. But if you tell me to swerve that, we're gonna swerve that. Swerve, ooh. Feel me? Move your hips. I'm gonna cut to the sidewalk with my hips, hit the brakes a little bit, slow it down, control it. Sidewalk swerves, up, back off. Boom. Keep it going. Brake control, I'm all brake control. Coast Willy real quick. Feathering the brake, staying in that balance point. When you're wheeling, you're always trying to find that balance point. So once you got that wheel in the air and you're pedaling, you hit the brake, you know, feather it a little bit if you have to, and just try to stay in that balance point the best way you possibly can. do circle willies Oh, <laughs> 
Guys, that's going to be the end of this video if you guys want to help support my channel merch link is down in the description below really helps out a lot i hope i was able to help you guys improve your willy skills that's going to be the end of this video i'll catch you guys in the next one